All right, guys, top tactic here. Welcome to today's episode. And uh, we're doing some cat fishing for you guys tonight. We're anchored up at our first spot uh, on this lovely weekend. And um, going for some flatheads, of course. That's pretty much all I target. We are fishing shallow water and we are in five feet, uh, five and a half feet of water through here. Um, we're seeing if these flatheads are gonna be on the move or not. So, um, so I really just kind of want to show you some of the things that I've done pretty well at with these flatheads. I haven't caught in super giants, but I've, I've done pretty well so far this year. I've caught in several in the 20s already, nothing giant, but um, you know, I'm really hoping to break that 30 plus. But one thing I've noticed is that I've always, it just seems like I've caught in a lot of my bigger fish on the Demon Dragon rig. And uh, so, if you guys aren't familiar, this is a Demon Dragon. It's a float rig, so it will uh, make your bait float up off the bottom. And uh, two of my rods are gonna have these Demon Dragons and two aren't, so four rods. And um, I'm hoping that we can get some good flyheads for you guys tonight so you can see just how effective these Demon Dragons are. But it rattles here, as you can hear. So if you have live bait on there, that live bait will, will move and this thing will rattle like crazy and it can alert the fish, so. And um, pretty much what I do is with your main line through here, you tie it down to a barrel swivel here, and then you have this leader line, which leads right to your demon drag. And you want that between 12 and 24 inches. I usually leave about a foot to a foot and a half. And then with your leader line down from the demon dragon all the way down to your hook, which I'm using a team catfish, double action, eight dot circle hook here. And that should be between maybe like, uh, da -da -da -da. Two to 12 inches, I would say. I usually have about three to five, typically, so. But what determines how much their bait's gonna float is this guy right here, this length. This line in between the barrel swivel and the top of that demon dragon determines how much your bait's gonna float up off the bottom. So obviously you don't want it too long because that bait will be really high off the bottom. So about a foot would be good. And this can help prevent snags, I've learned. Um, so, especially when you're bank fishing. And, but for some reason, a lot of the bigger fish come to these demon dragons and they are effective. So I encourage you guys to use them. Uh, my brother uses them a lot, chat cats fishing. You can also use float rigs as well. So there's a variety of stuff besides demon dragons you can use, but I just like the rattle in them. Um, that's the, the main thing for me. Won't spook those catfish. For the carpet will, but not those catfish. Um, and, uh, so we're gonna put a live piece of bait on here initially. I have all bluegill, uh, unfortunately, no other. Well, I do got one other bait, which I will disclose later. Um, we'll call that the, the mystery bait, but it is better than a bluegill. <laughs> so we're gonna start off with a live sunny here. Typically the sunnies do do well um for flatheads as you know but during the pre-spawn i find not so much i'll still catch them still catch the flats with the bluegill but i always tend to do better with other baits like rock bass and trout so but after the spawn they love those bluegill or during the summertime it's game on there so all right fishing near a little bit of structure nothing too crazy yet um i have Caught in flathead here before in a nice channel. So I figured give it another shot at this area. A little bit of structure, like I said. I'm gonna put this guy pretty much right underneath this tree. Yeah, about five feet through there. So I've gotten hung up on a big log here. Uh, so hopefully it's not too snaggy. And then, so I had a have a live bait on that uh, demon dragon. Then we're gonna use a cut bait on this one. We'll use a headpiece here. Water temp today, guys, is 72 is what my fish finder says. So that's good. But of course that means we're kind of getting close to the spawn. Usually when that water temp gets around up mid to upper 70s, that's usually spawn time. Keep that one right there. That one's kind of in that groove near the structure there. 
And then these other two rods do not have a demon dragon on there. And we'll just kind of keep it the same, same method here. Pretty much the same thing, except no demon dragon, but we'll use a live sunny on here. And we'll see which one, which rod gets hit first. I'm not trying to say demon dragons are better than some of these other, just a plain old Carolina rig, but I'm just telling you, they, they do make a difference. Um, so. Too live, too cut. And we're, I guess you could say we're using kind of quality baits here. No chunk pieces, just head pieces and live bait. So, all right. That's kind of near this other overhanging tree branch there. Don't want to leave so much slack, but a little bit of slack is okay. Six ounces of weight, which you really don't need through this area. You can get away with two or three ounces. There's no current here that much. So, you know, you will be all right. Just with the two or three, but I just keep, I just use six just because, just because. All right. some bloody there. Make sure you get your scales off, the hook. That's a little bit outside of the little structure there, but you never know. Sometimes these fish can just start moving out and cruising a little bit. So, all right. Camera died.
is on the live bluegill. Not bad. All right, first flat, guys. This was not on the Demon Dragon, just on a regular Carolina rig here. All right, ran to my other line too, which I'm gonna have to fix that. Ooh, barely hooked. All right, let's give you guys a picture here. All right, guys, first one here. Uh, we won't get a weight, but probably 10 to 12 pounds. Yeah, I'd say like 12, maybe 14. Nice, this was on the live bluegill. Regular Carolina rig here. Let's release it. It's good. All right. There he goes. 